This is verse 2 of the 17th chapter Gospel of Matthew. We're in the midst of Matthew's description of what's commonly called the Transfiguration. Jesus has taken his disciples up to a, a isolated, elevated place, and uh, now he continues the uh, story here. So we have Chi, the connective, metamorphothe. This is the uh, third person singular, aorist passive indicative, metamorpho'o. Uh, meta uh, has a variety of meanings. It could mean with uh, uh, and so on. It can mean uh, to uh, cross over a barrier or something like that. Meta uh, used with morpho has to do with uh, the form. Uh, morphology, of course, is a study, scientific study of the forms of things. This is the uh, changing of the form would be the idea. So it's uh, commonly rendered transfiguration. Uh, it's uh, used only in the New Testament in connection with the Transfiguration and then two other times. Once in uh, First Corinthians or 2 Corinthians 3.18 where uh, Paul talks about being transfigured, uh, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, being transfigured or uh, uh, transformed into the same image. And Paul uses this word as well in Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Uh, don't be conformed, but be transformed. So it's used fairly rarely. Here, of course, is the uh, use uh, par excellence, you might say, in the New Testament, as Jesus is transformed, transfigured, is the idea. And pros, then, this is an adjective that means uh, in front of or in the presence of. He takes the genitive in front of them. So it's an objective event takes place in their presence, the uh, disciples, Peter, James, and John, who were there, witness this incident. Uh, they continue, kai elampsen. Uh, this is from uh, the word lampo, which means to shine, usually to shine brilliantly or brightly, through a person singular, aorist active indicative. So it's shown, referring to the face, to prosopon, out to the face of him shown, and shown uh, hosts uh, like or as Hohelios, the sun. And so it's uh, brilliant, of course, shining, reminiscent of uh, John's description of uh, the Son of Man in Revelation chapter 1, where the same description is used. And then we have ta, the uh, article. This is the uh, neuter plural, hamatia, the garments, uh, de, Post positive, but the garments or and the garments out to of him. Agenito from Genomai, I become. This is the uh, third person singular, Aristak indicative. They became uh, Luca, word for white, uh, and then uh, grasping for some way of comparing it, host to foes as the sun became white as the sun. So, uh, remarkable description, of course. Uh, nothing really like it in ancient uh, literature. The word uh, metamorpho is used in pagan literature. Normally it's used to describe a man being transformed into a beast, uh, that idea. But uh, of course the fundamental notion is simply one uh, radical transformation of one kind of being to another. Here, of course, it's elevated to a much higher idea. Uh, this is commonly taken, I think correctly taken, as uh, in a sense uh, the deity of Christ, the full uh, deity of his glory being for a moment allowed to shine through. One commentator said the miracle is not so much that the deity of Christ shone through his humanity, but that for the most part the humanity of Christ obscured the deity, kept it hidden as it were. But this is one moment where uh, that deity shines forth in its uh, remarkable display of glory. And this of course becomes one of the most important incidents connected with the biblical idea of the deity of Christ that we could uh, uh, hope to find.